Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. So it's been a long time since I've done a check-in, and um, this is just going to be probably 10 minutes or so of me just rambling, let you know, know what's going on in my life. Um, and as you can see, I have a drastically messy apartment because there's now two people in my little 450 square foot apartment. So <laughs> as most of you know, I got married... Um, as all of you probably know, because I talked incessantly about it, probably more than I should have. Um, it's been two weeks ago, so got a ring on the finger and a lovely lady in the other room. And it's been awesome, but we are going to be moving soon, and I'm thankful for that. Um, <laughs> place with about twice as much room and a whole lot more closet space, and we'll be able to kind of shift all this. So we just got to make do for a couple of weeks here with a crowded house. But um, anyway, just going to let you know what's going on with me and coming up on the channel. As a, some of you have seen um, people who are around FAF, I stepped back from being a moderator, um, both on the client and in game and on the forum, because it was taking up a ton of my time. And there's a lot of things that I would prefer to be doing besides that, that I'm going to be starting on. I've already worked on a little bit, but I'm going to be starting on next week. Um, and some of that is to do with the casting, which I think will improve things a lot and bring some cool things to the table because I'm trying to delve into animation. Um, I've got the full Adobe suite. I've had it for a little while now and I've tinkered with it some, but I'm trying to get like, uh, rollout graphics made, templates made for that kind of thing where those of you who play Supreme Commander know that there's the little yellow arrows on the sides that scroll the um, scroll the informa unit information and UI elements in and out. So like you click the arrow and you know there's a bar that comes across the screen, then it drops down and it has the stuff inside it. And um, basically I'm going to be replicating that and making it so that I can do drop down information on units that I'm talking about at the moment or the cameras will be in that and it'll just clean everything up. Like all of the elements of the video will look like parts of the UI of the game. And I think that'll look really cool. And then I've got other stuff planned too, um, but just little things that I never had time for before, wasting way too much time, and I'm going to try to set aside some time to do that next week. And, yeah, just casting away. I gave up on Heroes of the Storm, and I had several people tell me, you know, if you're going to be casting strategy games, you don't need to be casting Heroes of the Storm, because Heroes of the Storm is not a strategy game. And um, I kind of wanted to be part of one of the newer games, and it is not that great of a game. I enjoyed it for maybe 20 hours. And then once I started really getting into it, like the grinding sessions where I was learning the mechanics, learning the units, learning the upgrades, memorizing all the stuff like I did for Subcom to where I was going to be able to cast it. Um, the game has no staying power at all. It just gets incredibly boring very quickly. Which is, you know, Supreme Commander is the longest I've ever stuck with a game. I always joke about I have long-term ADD. Um, I can stick with something as long as I'm learning about it. And once it stops being a learning experience and starts being a grinding experience, then it's no fun for me whatsoever. And, yeah, Heroes hit that point in about 20 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so that's off the table but one of the things that I want to ask of you guys was to suggest in the comments any recent strategy games because I want to tackle a new game but I would prefer that it be a newer one like I'm sure everybody's going to suggest Total Annihilation or possibly one of the Command and Conquer games or something like that let's say that it is Christmas of 2013 or newer. That would give it two Christmas seasons, basically two years um, of releases. A game in that time frame. Any kind of strategy, real-time simulation game, um, anything like that, that you guys would be interested in seeing me cast or do tutorials on or anything like that, um, suggest it. And after I collect all the suggestions, I'm going to put it to a vote. <laughs> And we'll pick a new game because I have no idea whatsoever what to tackle. So that should be a learning experience for everyone. <laughs>
and then I don't, I don't know it, from there I I love doing this I gotta say I love the whole casting thing the community that's built up here and I've said it before and I'm sure I will say it again but this is me talking about having long term ADD if I did not enjoy something I would knock off in about three months and this is something stuck with far more um I think it's pushing eight months now. I know it's been seven or eight. And I enjoy it more now than when I started. And a lot of that is due to the guys who watch and comment and interacting with people. And it's just a fantastic time. And I I love doing it. So I'm very appreciative to everything that you guys do for me. Speaking of which, um, there were a couple of people recent, or actually several people recently who jumped on to Patreon um, just to give back. I start... I never anticipated making anything off of this. And I gotta say, it is very nice, those of you who are generous enough to give a little bit. Um, right now, between Patreon and YouTube, it pays my internet bill, and it pays for the Adobe Creative Suite. I have a monthly subscription to that. So, um, that's pretty much everything that's there. And then there were a couple of people who gave um, wedding presents. And with that, I'm actually getting a new microphone. Um, I'd mentioned before I wanted to get a slightly better microphone right now. If I can do it without the noise exploding. Pick up the mic very carefully. I'm using a USB mic, which is not a bad mic, but it sits on the desk. So don't explode. Okay. It sits on the desk, so I have to sit at kind of an awkward position to talk into it. And it's also on the desk, so ticking of the keys and bumping of the desk and things really screws up the microphone. And when I move and set up the new, well, I'm going to have the same desk, but I'm going to have a slightly different setup. And um, get everything set up there. Um, the people who gave that side, um, it was specifically, well, one of them was specifically earmarked. I'm going to use the other one, too. Um, I'm going to use it to get the better microphone and a suspension mount so that there's no more popping and hissing and bumping and a lot less noise, a little bit more professional setup so that there isn't as much atmosphere to speak of. And uh, anyway, should help things out quite a bit, and I know I'll enjoy it more because I can actually sit back and relax instead of having to hunch over my computer desk like I am now and talk into the microphone. So <laughs> little bits of improvement here and there. It, it is all coming together. The only other thing that I want to do um, when we move to this house that we're going to move to is I do want to put sound dampening on the walls and possibly even the ceiling because that will help kill some other things that I was having a little bit of an issue with dealing with and um, anyway I think that is about all that I wanted to say this is literally a ramble this is kind of off the top of my head it is 11 o'clock at night and my wife is already asleep in the other room which is why I'm kind of talking quietly. <laughs> but uh, anyway, if you ever want me to get off on a topic, I never thought that I would be the mushy kind of person, but I really did find a special girl. And for those of you who wish me well on the wedding, I greatly appreciate the thought behind that, and I can assure you that I have a fantastic woman, and I could not possibly do any better. And... uh Anyway, you'll probably see her around. She, we, we were talking about this in the live cast today. Um, she has played a few rounds of Supreme Commander. She never really um, played games up until she was college, I guess. Um, her family just wasn't the type to do that kind of thing. And then she got hooked on Hearthstone and a couple of other smaller things. And then I got her playing a few games of Supreme Commander, which she seemed to take to pretty easily. And hopefully we can get her in and playing things. Oh, and Heroes of the Storm. She played, she's played a few matches of that. She learns very quickly, but just has not had the time to invest in it. Because she was doing, um, it's actually ludicrous. She finished four years of college in three years. Got her degree by doing like 19 credit hours per semester and working 40 hours. So she came out with a degree in three years and paid for zero student debt, <laughs> which is crazy. But yeah, that's why she had no free time. <laughs> uh, 
But anyway, that is enough about me and Kurt and enough of your time that I've burned up. I'm going to go ahead and head on out of here and probably hit the hay. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And everyone who's subscribed to the channel following the live cast, you guys are awesome. It's good to see the same names pop up over and over. I feel like I'm starting to get to know some of you. And that is that is a special thing. Technology is an amazing thing. You get to know people all over the world, actually. And it, it is a pretty incredible feeling. Just kind of get a little window into everybody's lives. But, uh, all right. I am out of here, and I will see you guys around. Uh, tutorial cast on Tuesday. And Patreon people, do not forget. Go to patreon.com. Um, the link is in the description of the video. And you need to check out the prize tiers, because anybody giving five dollars a month or more you have a reward available to you send me a replay and i will get that taken care of for you all right we'll see you